What up everybody? It's your girl Unique coming from Makeup Fanatics and this is a new look that I have for you guys today. And um I want you guys and um if you like this look, stay tuned. What's up everybody? First I want you guys to excuse this rag on my head that's called my hair bonnet. Now I'm getting ready to take NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Make sure you guys evenly distribute that NYX milk and, and pack it on the eye in a thick consistency because it kind of looks blotchy from, from what I see as I'm recording this voiceover. It's kind of blotchy and I wish I would have done that. You guys can also use a, a yellow jumbo pencil by NYX or a cream color, a yellow cream color from Ben Nye. Anyway, I'm going to take that sunny spot which is all almost discontinued on MAC uh, cosmetic website or discontinued from MAC period you, you want to take that it's a it's a light acid green yellow you can also use chrome yellow or any kind of yellow eyeshadow you want it doesn't have to necessarily be this color that I use and I took my 272 brush um, which is discontinued brush from MAC you can also use a flat shader brush or 239 brush, whatever brush that works for you. And I'm getting in my inner crease. And I'm sorry, I'm getting in my inner eye as, as much as I can. And I'm working on my, uh, uh, going over two thirds of my eye. Next, I'm taking um, a pigment, which is a metallic crushed pigment from the spring color collection is called stack two and I'm taking that color that looks like a be that looks to be a gold coral color I'm taking that uh, pigment I'm applying it on wet next to the sunny spot color you can also apply these pigments on dry if it works for you but applying on pigments wet really works for me and when I say wet, you can use your Fix Plus, you can use a mixing medium, you can use whatever. Next, I'm taking Emerald Dust by MAC. It's still available. With that color, I'm going to mix it with the Sugar's Peel, and it's called Weekender. I'm going to put, I'm going to mix those two colors in a small uh, jar. As you can see, the Weak Ender is a purple color. I believe the Emerald Dust is a green color. I'm not really sure, but you mix those two together, it'll create a pretty purple, bluish color. Depending on how much Emerald Dust you use, it'll be more blue. And depending on how much Weak Ender you use, it'll be more purple. And in the first look, when I first did it, I used more Emerald Dust and it was more blue. So now that I'm doing it on this second, you know, look, the redone look, I must have used more Weekender, so now it's more purple. And I'm speeding it up, and I'm just blending those colors together, going over those colors to blending them in. It's really hard to blend in wet pigments versus dry. And I'm just blending and building those colors. Next we're going to take Simonia Silk which is a Polynesian peach color. And I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to apply that color in my crease. And this brush is a blending brush by Sephora. You can use any blending brush that you would like. And I'm just blending that, those colors in my, uh, you know, blend those colors in, in, in a crease. Um, the Simonia Silk color it doesn't do, it doesn't do this look justice because it doesn't show up on my skin. Wish I would have applied a base that would make the color pop, but I didn't. So I'm just blending the color in, and I'm not satisfied with that. So if I get done building in um, the stack two color because it faded, I'm gonna apply free to be on top of the Simonia Silk in my crease just to get a another color to pop. I believe Free to Be is like a pinkish coral. 
Next, I'm taking shroom and rice paper and I'm gonna apply those on my eyebrow bone. I'm applying shroom first. Shroom is very a shimmery, white looking color. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. Cause there's just too much shimmer for this look. And I'm going over uh, with the Free To Be Me, fixing it up a little bit. And I'm just fixing and blending everything together. You got, if you guys love my eyebrows, I will be having an eyebrow tutorial, which is coming up real soon. I'm sure you guys noticed through the video that I'm in my bathroom. I like this light better than the light that I've been using in my bedroom. So you want to build those colors and I'm using my 219 pencil brush by MAC and I'm kind of building up that sunny spot. Trying to take away this blotchy uh, stuff from the milk. On top of this show, I'm applying the rice paper with the 239 brush. I'm just fixing it and blending it where it uh, falls uh, next to the uh, coral colors, eyeshadow, you know, transition and blend well. And I'm giving you guys some poses so you guys see what I've done so far. Cause I'm not really sure with the camera like that, you guys see what I'm doing. So I'm just modeling it for you guys. Next, I'm getting ready to line my lash line with black track and a 208 small shape an angle brush. This works better for me versus using a liquid eyeliner from the Beauty Supply Store or Sally's or Walgreens because I don't like that felt looking pointy um, thing, feathery thingy that you use, whatever you call it. The brush. So I'm going um, to stop this video recorder, recording session and um, I'm just going to apply the black tracks and, and fix it to my best ability and I'm going to um, show you guys a, a, a finished look. Here's the finished look, you guys. I didn't do everything on the camera that I had no idea I was gonna do. But for my cheeks, I use style. And for the lips, I use etc. And then I outline my lips with Honey Love. And then in the middle, if you guys can see, I put in the middle, I put real sexy. I don't have a coral lipstick. I just ordered um, Ravishing, which would have looked good with this look. So I just played with some colors. Um, I just played with some lip colors. I don't have foundation on my face, but this is style around the cheekbone. And this is the eyes. And underneath it, I used um, just some yellow and green eyeliner that I will list below then I use black tracks uh, for the top lid and this is the finished look if I had ravishing it would look so good with this look so this is all what I had 
So I put two colors together. I didn't want to do totally nude. I just want to do a little color. So. Don't know if you guys can tell. My face is a little oily. But, um, yeah, it's the finished look. So, I will have pictures on my blog and everything that I use on my blog and items listed below. So, if you like this look, please let me know. And, um, if the lips is a bit too much, I will use Ravishing. Uh, it's a light uh, lip curl color. I think it will look good. Or you can just keep it simple with lip gloss. Um, yeah. So, this is it, and I hope you like it. Bye now. Get it. I use um, some pressed powders, pick, well, slash pigments, pressed powders, regular eyeshadows, um, with some pigments that I applied on wet, and, um, the lip is a little I wish I had ravishing I just ordered it so a coral lipstick would have really looked good for this look coral lipstick honey girl um yes try it on and tell me how it looks so I can know yes so um, <laughs>